How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from New Jersey to get a cover-up done. He's getting married this year, so I gotta make sure that he looks good for that special day, you know? So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! So the project that I'm going to be doing on him is uh, I'm going to be covering up this tattoo here. So the first stencil that I'm going to put on is King Tut, just so I can um, have a, a better understanding on where every, all the stencils are going to go. Just let it happen. There you go. Second stencil, I'm gonna do the pyramid. Perfect. And then the last stencil I'm gonna be applying now that I have King Tut on the top, the pyramid on the bottom, now I can kind of determine, okay, where do I really want the, the, the galaxy? The light source is coming from this side here because if you look at King Tut, this whole entire part of the face is, is uh, the glare of it. So we gotta, make, we gotta make sure that it makes sense. So if you look at the reference from King Tut, you have the highlight on the forehead, the nose, the top of the bottom lip, and then this lip is, is the darkest point. So that's telling me that the light source is from this side. So with that being said, now we gotta make sure that all the light source is hitting this angle. Whew, all right. <laughs> Go ahead and check it out. Make sure you like the placement. Easy, All right, so now that I, what I did here, I just added a little bit of texture on the, on the smaller planet here. And the reason why I started off with doing the planet first is because I wanna make sure that the background is not just solid black. I wanna add some gray tones, I wanna add some dimension, I wanna add um, separation between the darks and the lights. So here, I ended up adding a lot of um, solid black with some gray tones to create texture. So I wanna make sure that this right here, the end of this, the, the, the circle here, the planet, I wanna make sure that it's solid black, okay? And once I start doing the background, I want to navigate to where, the way I'm gonna approach it is adding light grays here because I want this to glow. Once I get to the top, I'm gonna to add darker uh, tones. That way this is gonna glow and the bottom is gonna be light grays and that's gonna glow as well. So you gotta make sure that everything is legible and be able to navigate 
and pay attention to your uh, your contrast. Just that's the most important thing. You got to pay attention to your contrast at all times when it comes down to cover-ups because you don't want a piece just to look dark because once somebody sees it, it's going to be like, that was a cover-up, and you don't want that. You want to make sure that the, 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 whoever's looking at your tattoo doesn't even know it's a cover-up, and that is the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing the background here and uh, time-lapse that real quick. So I do want to show the way I pack solid colors, solid black. So I have my 14 round liner and I'm running my machine at 5.0. And uh, the reason why I like using this needle is because I, I cause less irritation on the skin and uh, I move faster for some reason. If I was using a Mac, I feel like it slows me down. My, for me, using my 14 round liner, is the best approach that I can take to packing in solid black. And it allows me to create texture as I'm doing it. Also, I like to uh, get a lot of uh, ink in my cartridge so I can just do uh, a lot of coverage in a single pass. Yes, sir. Perfect. See that? Single pass. Boom. I'll do the same thing here. The way I know that I'm packing in the solid black is I feel this vibration on my hand that lets me know that I'm packing it in at the right speed, right needle depth, and right voltage. Just everything feels right, you know? There we go, perfect. If I was using a nine round liner, I'll still do the same thing. If I was using a 14 round shader, round liner, um, I'll, I'll keep the same movement, but I definitely like uh, my favorite needles or my favorite cartridges are round liners and round shaders. Those are the two that I use the most in every single tattoo. If I'm doing like a, a really soft face, then I'll, maybe I'll start using like a, a 11 curve Mac or a 17 curve Mac. Even a, um, a 27 curve mag, but since most of the time I'm doing texture, I'm always using uh, round shaders and round liners. 
and you know as you can see it's probably been no more than a, than two minutes and i already got a lot of coverage also using this uh low voltage with this cartridge the skin doesn't get irritated as fast so um you're not gonna see any swelling anytime soon it's probably gonna start swelling up in the next probably like two hours or so that's when you start noticing um, the skin getting a little swollen and me using a 10 a 10 voltage and a 9 voltage I'm probably gonna scar the skin because I'm so used to a low voltage that switching uh, to uh, such a high voltage I, I'm gonna cause some damage but uh, for me when I see artists using that you know that voltage of a 10 or 9 I, I'm just like how are you doing that I can't do it bro I can't yeah, I cannot use that. Yeah, no. I used to though when I was when I first started tattooing. I was uh, experimenting. You know what I mean? Using like a like a seven. I was using an eight and nine, and I was tattooing in different ways. But I could never get comfortable until one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tattoo like a six, and I noticed a big difference. And then after that, I I was like, if I can tattoo a six and I got these results, I wonder what would happen if I go lower. I feel like it was almost an accident when I first tried it. I don't remember me wanting to try a 5.0 voltage, but it just happened, you know? So I don't, I don't know. It was meant to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when I tattoo texture on faces, I feel like it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just gotta, you just gotta be, you know, relax. Texture is, is just something to have fun with. The technique is everything. And if <laughs> that song is stuck in my head right now. And if I ever fall in love again, how was that? How was that? That was perfect. <laughs> you liar! <laughs> You're lying to me. <sighs> All right. Well, after this mini concert that I just um, that I just did, I'm gonna go ahead and continue tattooing now. I hope you learned something from this video. <laughs> Either you learned that I don't know how to sing, or maybe you learned a new technique. for coming back and watching this brand new video uh, I've been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram from artists uh, using my techniques and using everything I, I teach on my videos and definitely makes me really happy to see that I'm helping in some way and it motivates me to keep sharing all my techniques with you guys so if you're a tattoo artist I hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast I hope you were entertained thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week peace